This is very exciting for me. I'm 50 years old now. I joined the Zen temple when I was 24 years old. Then this is the first time that Zen can be presented in this unique and powerful way, combining the essence of Zen with the cutting edge technology of wild divine. I'm inviting you to join us in our Zen temple for a journey into the secrets of Zen. Welcome to the temple. I trust that you are interested in studying the secrets of Zen. We need good people to carry the power of Zen. Sometimes people come here hoping to get some superpowers. Let me tell you right now that this is not what Zen is all about. You will become stronger. That is true. But Zen will teach you when to fight and when to peacefully go away in order to be free enough to choose between all the options. You will have to be in a place that observes them from beyond. I want to tell you about your mind. The thoughts that you are listening to. It is as if there was our body, a building at the top floor, there's a radio station. And this radio station goes on since you wake up in the morning until you go to sleep at night. If it was a radio station in the top uh, floor of this building, there's somebody there who is talking into the microphone. This person behind a glass wall continuously filling your whole day with endlessly flowing thoughts. Now, there is a radio station on the top floor of your building. Who is the audience of this radio channel? You are. Who is the owner of this building? You are. Being the owner, being the one who sponsored it, and being the audience, do you think that you have the right to interfere with the program or ask for something which would be more pleasant to listen to? Are you enjoying your program in your mind? Or do you suffer? Listen to this guy. Each person has its own radio channel, ongoing, endlessly. And each person, it's a different uh, kind of uh, broadcasting. Some are negative, some are bitter, some are with stress, some chatter without stop and some are morbid and heavy and sad. How is your mind? I will teach you how to break this glass wall that divides you from the guy who is endlessly talking. There is a way for me to give you this big sledgehammer to smash this glass wall. But let me ask you, after you do that, what will you do then? What will you do to this guy behind the microphone? To your mind, I would like you to take the microphone and start talking yourself. Using the device that you have, the IOM, you are training and studying that it is possible to pacify your mind, to focus it, to lift your spirit up, to let go, and you are going to decide how to do it. You are going to be the master of your own mind. I wish you good luck. 
आई होप वी विल मीट अगेन